Why is the 3D printer installed on board this catamaran? If you'd like to know the answer, please stay tuned and let me tell you about the Sailing for Handicaps project. Welcome to the Fisher Panda Channel. My name is Philip Hamilton Wilkes. I work in the marketing department. In this video, we are at the Fisher Panda headquarters in Germany. A 3D printer is a very unusual application to have installed on a catamaran. This catamaran is called the Imagine. It belongs to the non-profit organization Sailing for Handicaps. This 3D printer is used to help in the process of producing prosthetic limbs. Each 3D print takes approximately 11 hours. This is definitely an application which you do not want to run out of power when it's being operated. Understand how the 3D printer came to be on board the catamaran. Let me tell you a little bit about the background story of the Sailing for Handicaps project. The Sailing for Handicaps project was formed in 2012 by Wojtek Cisz and his wife Elena. During his career as a professional football player, Wojtek suffered a severe sports injury. As a result, he suffered an over-the-knee leg amputation. After recovering, Wojtek began to compete in para-athletics and he even went on to compete in the Paralympics. In 2004 in Athens, he won the gold in 100 meters and 200 meters events. He then went on to win gold in the 2008 Paralympics in Beijing in the long jump. Then in 2012, he took part in the Paralympics in London and he went on to win bronze and silver medals. While competing in these different events and visiting different countries, he became aware of the different types of support and how disabled people are accepted within their communities and in different countries and he also became aware of the different levels of technical and professional help that disabled people have in these countries. The idea for Sailing for Handicaps came about as the result of his experiences and he decided he was going to change this. Together with his wife Eleanor, their idea was to visit third, third world countries and actually provide direct assistance to people who are in need and also help educate local communities. Their aim was to give people in need a prosthetic for free. To do this, they converted their catamaran, the Imagine, to, a, to become a mobile workshop. And what they would do is actually build the prosthetics on board. The 3D printer is used to make the socket. They use specialist software on board to make precise changes. And once they're ready, they can actually start the printing process. There are lots of other processes involved to make the prosthetic. It also requires a lot of handwork and they have power tools on board, such as grinders, drills. They also have an industrial vacuum cleaner with a compressor and they even have a sewing machine on board to make the liners for the prosthetic limbs. So these are some of the tools that you might also find on board your yacht. If you're stopping somewhere where there are no facilities and require repair work, these are some of the tools that you will probably be using. So they faced two big challenges before they set off. The first challenge they had, because they're going to build the prosthetics on board their yacht, they had to learn how to do this. During their stops, they're also helped by an orthopedic technician who comes on board and helps them with this process. So the second main challenge before setting off was where they were going to be stopping. There was no guarantee that there would be shore power or any power facilities available to help them with the tasks. To solve this problem, they contacted us at Fisher Panda. Fisher Panda has built over 50,000 generators for marine and vehicle applications. So we understand how important it is to have a reliable source of power on board if you're going to be producing your own power for your applications. So together with Saving for Handicaps, Fisher Panda decided that a Fisher Panda 15,000i generator should be installed to provide the power they required for their applications on board. The first phase of their journey involved an Atlantic crossing. They set sail from Germany. During these stops, they made a total of 39 prosthetic limbs for people on their way. Immediately after Hurricane Maria hit the island of the Dominica, they were amongst the first private vessels to reach the island and provide immediate relief with water and supplies for the communities that had been hit. They are currently on the second part of their journey, which involves the Pacific crossing, where they are stopping at various countries and islands on the way. In October 2019, they prepared their biggest project, and that was in Fiji, where they'd be providing over 56 complete and partial prosthetics for amputees in the region. Also in 2019, they were awarded the Dames Design Charity Award. This was presented at the Mets Trade Show in Amsterdam. So that concludes my video. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this has given you some information about Sailing for Handicaps. Fisher Panda is proud to be a sponsor of Sailing for Handicaps. If you're interested in finding out more about the Sailing for Handicaps project, please visit their website or their Facebook page. So do you have any interesting applications on board your yacht? Please add them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.